is my wind, I shall sell it if I desire. Oh, you had fired when I told you to fire. <laughs> Fireballs are gonna give me in trouble, I just know it. Said there's a letter. You're right. And then this came with this message. Huh. Ah! <laughs> he was like, I regret this. I knew I'd regret this. Oh, their screeching sounds like weird. Yeah. Chickens. Or something, I don't know. Not you. She looks so good, like, okay. Whatever. Yeah, there's so very little in the way of random encounters in this game. So it's just like along the roads of nothing. Fort Wooden Hand. That appears to be made of stone. Made by people with wooden hands? I don't know. Something in there, I think. You could use your magic. You are detecting yourself. Perfect. Well, I didn't hear any, like, screams like, You will die! Anything like that. <laughs> the first one, of course. I can't tell who's the most dangerous. Probably him. Mm. I'd say Shadowgraph, but... Uh, I'd probably say Maroon Stagan is the most dangerous. He's Prince of Destruction. <laughs> oh. What There's was Mullen Bob again? He, he is... Something like submission, something like that. Oh right, 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 right. It is submission. Oh. Because in Skyrim, you have to go make that priest submit to him. Yeah. Yeah. 
In this one, you have to, like, trick somebody into breaking their value, um, piece or something. You have to get them oh, to right, beat right. you to death. Yep. <laughs> and then you're revived. Yes. You're like, good job. You made him break his promise. I am happy. You're weird. Not as weird as saying we know. Just hanging out in random places with wizards. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yes. Especially since you were a werewolf at first, and he's like, I'll get you! And then you come back and say, like, oh, hey, hi, what's up? He feels like coming for damage you. Know. This one, he just wants you to go to a duchess's party and then, like, have everyone take their clothes off. I remember you saying that. punch you. Oh my, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that was hilarious! Everything leads to punching. You made it to the priory. Hand what you, plate. What do you guys have plates in your barrels outside? That's how we do. That's how we do dishes. We just wait for the rainwater to clean the dishes off. No, it's okay. No, you don't have to talk to me. No. I, I'm here. You stay. Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Mabro or Joffrey? But I think he's sleeping. He's right here. But it must be important. But I'm hiding. Go ahead upstairs and wait. And you see, you're very tired. I guess I don't know. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about I was there when he death? died. I was the one that killed him. <laughs> now. It was me. You brought me the amulet of kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the knife. I should have tried back again on the conversation. But it would let me. Who are you? Can How I see that? No. See ya. What do you know Bye. of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some uh, threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. You know, Uriel Septim but the mortal dead. world is protected from the danger one, of Oblivion by magical barriers. You didn't see him roll his eyes, sure. and he's like, oh, yes, Only the yes, Emperor yes, truly whatever. understand the meaning like, behind yes, the rituals yes. of coronation. <laughs> he rolled the his eyes, like, of kings so is obviously, like, oh, Saint Alicia herself oh, received it from the gods. He's such a hoot. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon what fires one? at the Temple of the One that in the one. Imperial City. Was the one? With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, mm -hmm. let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest. You treacherous little... <laughs> Put that back, you worthless... Is this giving me bounty? I feel like it is. Yes. How much is your bounty? Thief! Oh, what? Get away with this! 
You thief! Stop that! Stop knocking my things over! What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why do you keep doing that? Space. Imagine just a guard gonna come bursting through here at any moment going, STOP RIGHT THERE CRIMINAL SCUM! Uh, I know you, you agree with me. <gasps> what? I know that you are on an important mission for the blades. Please, if you need a horse, Take mine from the Priory Stables. Very good. You are well prepared. But if you should ever find yourself in need of a horse, my offer still stands. Go with Talos's blessing. Don't insult me. I don't Do worship Talos. Your first priority now should be... She just walk up behind me and talk Wait. to me. You must find Martin the before the guy, enemy yeah. Uh -huh. There's two other guys here that give me free stuff. Yeah, there's one. Go ahead. Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. You go into danger. Okay, thank you. Newspaper is not too pretty useful. I'm just gonna pull yeah. this chapel. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Cat overboard! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> she melted so much, she fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. What can I do for you? Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging <laughs> idle gossip. Good day to you now. We have better things to do. Primarily sleep, jerk. Sorry, Shadow. I made you, like, fall over. <laughs> I just felt so good. Mm, yes. Like, I'm loving this attention. Go! Go! Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Uh. It's 6.02 a.m. <laughs> Wait, those under the side of the tower can unlock doors? <laughs> Easier? No, they have a spell that unlocks doors. Ah! Uh. Neat. Only once per day. Hey, welcome to the Oak Enclosure. Do you buy my stuff? Only yes. quality goods for sale here. What can I... Interest... Do... Person was just being a jerk. Good. 
weak potion of disbelief. That's more <sighs> Give me that. I don't believe it. You got a great deal, and tell you there's one available for the night. The room is upstairs, first door to the left. Okay. Farewell. <laughs> this is the stairs. I may be a little tired because I haven't had anything to drink. Sleep until noon. Give them a world saving mission. <laughs> Attributes are there. Loot plus three ones, so one, two, three, four, five. So roll eight, D6. D ten. Get the pick. I can do a D five. What's your D ten? Sure, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and start with a four. Another four. Make one more. That works. Roll a d6 because it's three of them. Okay. Uh, three. Alright! Good job! What's this about? The kid turned around Tidings, immediately. Citizen, I don't live here. He turned around immediately to leave. Never mind. Never mind. I see you woke up on the wrong side of everything. 